Hello. So in this video, we're going to be talking about um, bringing in data from an API call into a Zoho Deluge script. Um, part of the things this is used for is if you have an external um, software, right, and you want to send it uh, in a very quick and dirty, very easy way um, into Zoho CRM, um, this is how you would set that up, right? Um, if there's a third-party software that you're using and it doesn't have uh, a Zoho CRM integration, um, and, uh, it, but it does have web hooks, um, this is where you want to use that, you know, this, this kind of scripting. So uh, as you can see, I am sharing my screen um, and we're going to start out with create a function, right? We'll call this uh, external API call. We copy this, paste it into display name. And then the, the type of function you want to use is a standalone function. So let's go ahead and click create. And then we have, I have something here, right? So I'm going to add some spaces here. Um, and the first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to click edit arguments. We're going to type in CRM API request. And this is going to be a string. And let's click save. Now, the, the thing to note about this is uh, it's actually really funny. The CRM API request, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And I'm actually going to go info CRM API request. This will only work if it's typed exactly like this. So that's capital API um, and R here. So let's go ahead and save and execute this. I'm going to put nothing in there. And then this happens. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it into our trusty JSON parser. So let's go ahead and paste that right here. So as you can tell, uh, there's a lot of information that, that comes in. All of this is actually API information. So this is, this is what's sent in via API. And I'm going to show this how we're going to test this later on in this video. But um, even though we, there is no, no uh, test data, it still pulled all that in. We're going to go back to here. And the thing you're going to know is there's record params and body, right? Um, we're going to look to pull in this information. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set up a webhook. I'm actually going to set up two. And it's going to be this here. We're back to our trusty. Um, request bin. I'm going to click paste this. Let's go post. And then CRM dot get. And let's do params. And no header. And then let's do the same thing. Params info. And let's do the same thing. A little bit lower, but for body. Okay, so I can save and execute, click save. And then if I go to the request bin, I'm going to refresh. So now we have our, our two stuff. Now it's, it's none and it's none, right? Um, that's expected. We didn't, we didn't send any data in. So now we want to um, send data in. So I have somewhere Postman. If you don't have Postman, I highly recommend you install it. It is um, uh, extremely helpful. So I have Postman. What we're going to do is we're going to send data in um, to this Deluge script. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to click Save and go to External API Call. Click REST API, click API key, and I'm going to copy this. Now that it's copied, I'm actually going to paste it in the URL. There we go. Paste it in the URL of Postman. So now we have a few options, right? So we have here's the parameters, and there's also the body. The parameters are anything in the URL, and the body only works if it's a post or put request. So depending on the type of webhook you're sending from another software, 
to Zoho um, will determine that. So let's start out with, let's go to params and let's go to add a test param and let's go value, uh, value one, okay? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and save this and then I'm gonna go back and open it up again. So now if I were to send this, I click send, and then I have all this stuff that it sends back. This is actually the info statement that, um, you know, the, the uh, from the first test run that was created. So if I go to the request bin and I refresh, there it is, test param value one. Now, in this particular case, we're doing it as a get request. Right, so there's no body. There is the so this was the the param one, and then this was the body one. Um, and if I show you the um, API, no API caller. So there was the two two um, uh, uh, API calls. Two API calls we sent into this request bin. The first one was for params. And if you see, that's why that value comes in in the params one and there was nothing for the body. So if I use Postman again, and I'm gonna switch it to uh, post and I can go to body and I can actually do, uh, let's go URL go raw and go key, key one, value two. So now if I send this, um, we have both a param in the URL and we have um, a key value pair in the body. So if I send this, and then if I go and refresh, you're gonna see a value one. Value one, test param, and there it is. Key value is in the body here. So this, is how you pull um, this information out of an API call. So if you're using uh, like a Discord bot or um, you know a, a Zapier you know alert, right? And you need to process this information. You can then pull it in with a CRM API request and then go Soho dot CRM dot create record and create a contact and say. This is what I want to use. So then if that's the case, I know that I need to send in that body. I need to go email equals something at example.com. And this would create a record in your CRM where um, the contact email would be something at example.com. So just to recap, this is how you send in information to Zoho CRM using a webhook um, if you don't want